Now in the hard module, uh, these figure questions can go either way. Sometimes they're just as easy as they are in the first module where it's just about kind of like reading the figure and doing something very obvious. Other times they're more intense. So there isn't really one strategy here, but I do like to kind of go to the passage in the hard module uh, figure questions and kind of see if there's something that they specifically want from me. I'm not so much interested in the story, but literally like as they lead up to that blank, they're usually gonna tell me what aspect of the chart in this case to look at. So we'll read the whole thing, but let, let's see what it wants. To test whether medication is effective, scientists compare outcomes for patients taking it and patients taking a placebo, a medically inactive substance, Patients normally aren't told they're receiving a placebo, but a research team conducted a study to see if there might be a medical benefit to telling them. The team used various measures to evaluate participants with higher ratings, indicating greater well-being in each measure. So, so far, this is just describing what may be as obvious by the chart and your knowledge of what a placebo is. Compared to the mean ratings after 21 days for participants in the control group, the mean ratings for participants who were aware of taking a placebo... Okay, well, this is where they're just telling me what to look at. Well, the 21 days piece is in the, the like title, so that's not really relevant. And then we have people who are aware of taking a placebo and people in the control group. So what they're asking for is what do we know about the people in the, the placebo group compared to the control, right? So we're looking at the left column versus the right column. So those numbers are all higher. That's literally what it is, right? 5 is higher than 3.9, 92 is higher than 46, 11.4 is higher than 5.4. It might be more involved than that, but start with that, right? Like that's pretty simple. This is not math per se, but it's literally just like what numbers are bigger than other numbers. So now we go to the choices. Uh, which uh, most effectively completes the statement. Uh, the, the, those who are aware of taking a placebo range from 5 to 92, indicating that well-being varied widely from participant to participant. No, I mean, the 592 is the same group. They're, it's not about different participants. It's just different ways of measuring things, right? Well, the five is the global improvement, whatever that means. Symptom severity reduction, I don't know what that means either, but that's a different category. So this is comparing within the different categories. We want to talk about the, the left column versus the right column. B, we're lower for two measures with a rating for only one measure indicating grading well-being for these participants. No, we just said it's higher for all three measures. C, range from 3.9 to 46. Well, that's not even the right numbers. That's just the wrong column. And then D, we're higher for all three measures indicating greater overall well-being for these participants. So in a way, there is some sort of understanding of what we're reading that's involved here, but not really because only the beginning part of that choice is, is correct, right? Or is... is uh, what matched with what we were looking at, right? Like we don't actually understand what's going on here, but they did say in the passage that the higher numbers correspond to higher mean rating. Um, so yeah, here, higher ratings indicating greater well-being. So that aspect of it is in the passage, but that's not why I'm picking this choice. I'm picking it because it says there's bigger numbers. So this would be, you know, like I said, this is the hard module, but I don't think this is a particularly hard question. So this is why you can't be afraid of these figure questions when you get to them. Even in the hard module, some of them are just going to be about knowing which numbers are bigger than others. So don't panic, but just try to figure out very quickly what the passage wants from you so that you're reading the right parts of the chart and not getting too into the weeds about all the details because we definitely didn't need them here.